patient for that. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, to Otto Mobley, for that uh, uh, insight. Uh, let me come back to you. Uh, Oh, Madam Pudima and end. Uh, we are talking about uh, Africa here, which is the central stage. And uh, if I uh, get getting the, the viewpoint of Mr. Mobley, he made mention about oppression of African state, in spite of the fact that the continent has everything natural. And of course, the human capital, uh, we still see uh, this oppression even uh, in uh, the uh, present context. And then you are aware of uh, the uh, geopolitical uh, maneuver across the African continent, and of course, the, the I call it uh, the mad rush for the 21st century mad rush for the African continent. So now, India being a member of the G20, and India has been very uh, uh, intentional about seeing uh, Africa's uh, representation. So in your opinion, uh, how uh, uh, can uh, Africa's dealing with the G20 help the country to bring about stabilization across the continent, Africa? Because uh, some pundits are of the view of that with the wind of change that is blowing Africa in Africa at the political level, there are also some people who are very pessimists, like uh, this uh, wind of change, of course, is bringing some changes in the political sphere, but it's trying to uh, impede or inhibit uh, uh, economic uh, growth across the African continent because most energy, uh, most uh, governments are channeling the energies in trying to ensure political uh, stability in uh, respective nations uh, that they have actually uh, kept at uh, bay uh, some uh, continental economic uh, uh, agendas or projects. So in your perspective, where does the G20 or the Group of 20 stand in helping Africa uh, come about uh, stability, especially political stability, uh, that will uh, open uh, the continent for greater uh, direct foreign investment and other uh, projects that can prosper Africa? Uh, Clarice, this is a very, really, very big question you raised, and uh, now we are towards the end of discussion. Absolutely. But the uh, point is that what G20 will add on to African continent, right? In short, what you want to know, right? Sure. So, uh, my point is that, that in current turbulence time, all countries in this planet are in problem. All governments are searching new ways to get their stability in their countries. So that's why I told when we are talking about new economic solution, we need to understand a delivery of new democratic institution and parties also. Mm -hmm. Because it is not easy to say that G20 will resolve all the problem of African continent or BRICS will resolve problem of all countries. This is a new time when we need to make our space for new economic and democratic solution. Sure. Because now people are not inside the country only, not in the continent, not in the United Nations structure. We are moving towards new uh, structures in 21st century. Yes, 21st century will belongs to Africa. This is no doubt because Africa is having all reserved things because of their innocence in the past due to their uneducation, due to their poverty. They were not knowing what they can achieve. But now they are rising. They know, their leaders know after Nelson Mandela revolution in Africa, all countries got their freedom and democracy, democratic rights. Somehow there is some colonial system is still existing. This need to be cleared by the African leader, African Union, a new uh, kind of uh, election structure need to be developed in all countries to give the voting right to all men and women of Africa. So coming back to G20, what G20 is uh, going to uh, support in Africa is very big question. And we need to discuss it more uh, in some other uh, session because G20 countries are also passing from very big turbulence time Absolutely. and they are having their own problems. So 
problematic people sit together and have dialogue and search solution this is one way but uh, how they can uh, uh, develop each other this is another question but now i thinking that uh, new think tanks what they are doing in digital world we need blue economy we mm. need green economy we need other uh, structures which can give the human centric development approach to all nations not government not g20 g7 or breaks or non alliance movement asean so many alliances we have in the past and new alliances will develop and developing but this is not the complete solution for human centric development human centric development will be a uh, solution when we will have digital currencies common currencies and green and blue economic uh, development and food security and energy security to every human being Absolutely. then we can see in reality development is happening so uh, to all think tankers and uh, to all governments and to all alliances i only uh, request or we can through this session dialogue and we can initiate innovative ideas that how we can provide energy security food security and health and education to every human being on this planet then it will be a great success of g20 and membership to the african union or any other alliance so brics is also moving towards uh, this uh, targets to provide food security and energy security during brics summits let's see who will uh, win the race and who will create new model and who will really uh, give the strength to every human being either it is china government or russian government or united nation african union or g20 this is all stage players but after all we need equal rights for all human beings on this planet to live happily with love with the care and uh, for the development of uh, uh, this mother earth thank you very much thank you to dear punima for of that uh, mr elaja enoku uh, you know uh, i always reiterate uh, that the essence is to uh, 